Guys, I got a new aquarium, and don't worry, it's meant to be kind of dirty water. It's a black water aquarium, obviously, I know what I'm talking about, and it's from the driftwood and the tannins in the driftwood, so it's not dirty. I'm taking good care of my fish. Leave me alone. Ooh. <laughs> What's up guys, Joey Guyther here with JG Multimedia, and today we're going to be talking about the importance of blog posts on a WordPress website. Now, WordPress is known for their blog posts, like it was really created to excel in the blog post area. It makes it incredibly easy for any user to create a blog post, and this is because creating a blog post can really help your website rank high in the search engine optimization, and it makes it easy to get your website ranked for specific keywords when you write blog posts about them. So in this video, we're gonna be talking about the main reasons why you wanna be writing blog posts for your WordPress website, or any website really, as well as the number one plugin you should be using when you're writing these blog posts. So the first reason you should be writing blog posts is because it helps keep your website updated and it helps it rank better in the search engine results page. Let's say that there's another website that you're competing with and it's not as up to date as yours. It doesn't have a blog post section, so it was created and that was it. It's no longer being updated, but your website is being updated with blog posts that you post weekly, monthly, tri-monthly, I don't know, but it's being updated consistently so search engines are going to see that as hey this website is more up-to-date and relevant than the other website I'm going to rank this website higher in the search engine results page and by creating these blog posts you're also giving other website owners an opportunity to backlink to this blog post if they find it relevant to their blog posts because search engines also take into account how many backlinks your website gets when it's ranking your website. So the next reason you should be writing blog posts for your website is because it'll help it gain more traffic and traffic just goes hand in hand with the ranking of your website. Obviously the higher your website ranks the more traffic it's going to get because nobody's gonna go to the second, third, fourth search engine results page to find something they're looking for. They're gonna click on, you know, one of the top three links that the search engine's results page provides. And so by ranking higher and keeping your website more up to date, it's gonna rank higher, it's gonna bring in more traffic. Now the next reason is for keyword optimization. Now WordPress makes it incredibly easy with plugins, specifically Yoast SEO is a great plugin that every blogger should use and it allows you to focus in on a specific keyword or phrase and see how your blog post is going to rank for that keyword or phrase and give it the best chance to have it end up on the search engine results page for a user search. So by writing a blog post about a specific keyword or phrase that you want your website to rank for, you're going to give yourself better odds of turning up on the search engine results page for a user search just by writing an article about it and kind of focusing in on that keyword. So let's say you're a photographer website in a specific area, let's say Cleveland, like I am. So you might write an article about best spots for photography in Cleveland. So people are going to search for that when they're looking for a photo shoot to be done, and they might wind up reading your article, getting good ideas about where to take these specific photos, and then they might say, hey, this website offers a photography service, and so you might gain business from that just by writing for a specific keyword or phrase. However, when you're writing a blog for a specific keyword or phrase, you should make sure that it's still relevant to your website, the content on your website, and the audience. You don't want to be a photography website writing about space exploration. You know, it just doesn't make sense. Google's going to say no, that, that's not right. So the last reason why it's so important to be writing blog posts for your WordPress website is for social media presence. So you're actually able to share your blog posts on different social media platforms and that's gonna boost your impressions, but people are also then able to share and retweet the blog posts that you post, and so you're gonna get even more impressions and help build your audience. And after you put in all that hard work writing that blog post for a specific keyword or phrase, you're gonna to wanna to get the most out of it, you know? Repurpose your content. That's a huge thing in any digital marketing campaign is getting the most out of what you create. So this is just an easy and great way to do that. So now we're going to be talking about the best plugin to use when writing blog posts, and this is Yoast SEO. So when writing your blog post, Yoast SEO will take into account how well you implemented your focus keyword in your blog post and kind of tell you how well it's going to rank in a search engine results page. And this will give you the best opportunity to get your blog post ranked in a search engine. 
So Yoast SEO is going to check to see if your focus keyword is in the slug as well as the meta description. Does your blog post have outbound links linking to external websites? Is the focus keyword in your subheadings? Is the focus keyword a good length? It's also going to check to see if there's internal links linking to other pages in your website. It's also going to see if the focus keyword is in the introduction and how often it's used in your blog post, so the density of it. It's also going to see if the focus keyword is in your image alt text that you use in the blog post. It's going to check the text length of your blog post. It's going to see if the focus keyword is in the title as well as the slug in your blog post. And finally, it's going to check the meta description length of your blog post page. That's a mouthful. So not only does Yoast SEO check the search engine optimization of your blog post, it also checks the readability of your blog post, which plays a part in search engine optimization. So it's going to give you feedback on how your blog post is written. It's going to check to see if you use an active or passive voice. It's going to check to see the variety of your sentences based on how they start. Are you using a specific word too many times in a row? Or are you switching it up? It's also going to check to see the subheading distribution to make sure that your paragraphs aren't too long and there's nothing breaking them up. And finally, it's also going to check the sentence length. Usually it wants stuff under 20 words and also the use of transitional words. So are you transitioning between sentences and stuff like that? So that should be enough to get you guys started on writing your blog posts. Honestly, it could be tough in the beginning and especially for me, I'm not a writer. But if you find topics that you're passionate about and that you love to talk about and, you know, it's what you do, it comes easy to you. Um, and after doing some research on a specific topic, you should be able to just kind of free flow, get it out there, just start writing. And uh, you'll still help you out, see how it's doing. And, you know, if it gives you a frowny face, don't you worry. I've had plenty of frowny faces, but if you work hard enough, it'll turn into a green smiley face. But that's going to do it for this video, guys. So hopefully you enjoyed. Um, as always, if you have any questions or inquiries, comment down below or check out my website. It'll be linked in the description. And also check out my social media and subscribe. It helps me out, guys. Thank you. Bye.